In this video, we are going to talk about top 23 of the most extremely successful introverts in history. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Many people have misconceptions about introverts. Some persons who perceive themselves to be introverted use hyperbole to describe them, such as, they are so shy they wouldn't be able to deliver a speech in front of a crowd, or, she is so timid and introverted she doesn't like people at all. Here's a list of the top 23 of the most extremely successful introverts in history. Let's start. Number 23. Barack Obama. When President Barack Obama was elected to the office of President of the United States in 2008, he made history. He was the first African American to be elected President of the United States of America. Apart from that, he has a reputation for being an introvert. Having President Barack Obama lead you into combat is similar to having Miles Davis play the trumpet and lead you into battle, David Brooks, a New York Times writer, recently wrote in his magazine. The way he speaks makes you want to sit down and think about what he's saying. Number 22. Steve Wozniak. In his book I Was, Steve Jobs said regarding his creative process, I'm going to give you some advice that you might find tough to follow. According to this piece of advice, it is best to go it alone. I don't participate in committees at all. I am not a member of a social group. Number 21. Frederick Chopin. Despite his international reputation and drive, this world-renowned and motivating composer is thought to have given just approximately 30 public concerts during his career due to his introversion. He worked as a substitute for small groups of friends, augmenting his income by selling his compositions and teaching piano to students in private lessons. Chopin's most contemplative and tormented moments have also come to be recognized as his most fruitful compositional eras throughout history. Number 20. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is a famous children's author. He was scared of meeting the children who had read his novels for fear that they would be disappointed by how quiet he was, Susan Cain writes. She claims that he was scared of meeting children who had read his books. He is widely regarded as one of the best children's authors of all time having written countless novels for children. His stories were written by him alone. Number 19. Elon Musk. The PayPal, SpaceX, and Tesla creator has been candid about his journey from introverted engineer to the next Steve Jobs. Number 18. Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, like many other performers and actresses, is an introvert. Streep, on the other hand, is a three-time Academy Award winner who is noted for her meticulous preparation in portraying each character she has played. Number 17. Charles Darwin. The renowned scientist and author of The Origin of Species, Charles Darwin, was a reserved individual who preferred isolation. Number 16. Michael Jordan. His airness is one of the all-time great basketball players. He's also one of the best introvert athletes on the planet. Number 15. Hillary Clinton. Former First Lady, Secretary of State, and current presidential contender Hillary Clinton is not an outgoing personality like her husband, Bill Clinton. This could explain why some people assume Clinton isn't particularly warm. Number 14. Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi, the guru of non-violent resistance, reportedly remarked, you may rock the world in a gentle way. Number 13. Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, often known as the Oracle of Omaha, is largely regarded as one of the world's most successful introverts and businessmen, earning him the moniker, the Oracle of Omaha. Buffett feels that he had the intellect for business when he first began out, but that he needed to attend Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People seminars to improve his company image. Number 12. J.K. Rowling. On a journey from Manchester to London in the United Kingdom, J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, came up with the idea for her most famous character. It was a lovely experience, Rowling says of her career. However, despite the fact that I'd been writing virtually non-stop since I was six years old, I'd never felt so enthusiastic about a piece of work before. In my search for a functional pencil, I couldn't find one for some reason, and I was too embarrassed to ask anyone for aid. Number 11. Abraham Lincoln. Because of his geekiness, dignity, and stillness, the 16th U.S. president's introverted leadership qualities have been studied extensively by researchers and educators. Number 10. Marissa Mayer. Mayer, no matter how well-known he is, believes in the value of quiet leadership, admitting that, I'm a nerd and an introvert who likes to code. Number 9. Al Gore. Al Gore, the former vice president and presidential candidate who wrote An Inconvenient Truth, 
is another example of a well-known figure who has achieved success despite being socially shy, an inconvenient truth. Number 8. Larry Page. In November 2011, Page, a Google co-founder, was named the company's chief executive officer. Many people thought Page was a strange candidate for CEO since, among other things, he is personally reclusive, unapologetically geeky, and perceived to be modest, according to Fortune. Number 7. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook's founder and CEO, is quiet and introverted, and he frequently does not appear very friendly to those who are not familiar with him, but he is warm, according to Sheryl Sandberg, Facebook's chief operations officer, in a 2010 interview with The New York Times. He is sincerely concerned about the people who work here, the woman continued. Number 6. Eleanor Roosevelt. According to The New York Times, Eleanor Roosevelt, the First Lady of the United States, was a woman who conducted 348 press conferences as First Lady, was a UN delegate, was a human rights activist, and was a teacher who averaged 150 speaking engagements per year throughout the 1950s. She was also a UN delegate, a campaigner for human rights, and a human rights activist. Number 5. Sir Isaac Newton. Newton became one of the most well-known people in science history as a result of his Principia, in which he explained the principles of motion and universal gravitation. One biographer described Isaac Newton as a genuinely introverted personality who was passionately possessive of his own territory. Number 4. Steven Spielberg. Even Brad Pitt, an actor and producer who is one of Hollywood's most successful, wealthy, and well-known figures, is an introvert. Steven Spielberg has stated as much, indicating that he would prefer to devote his time to filmmaking rather than other activities in his personal and professional life. Number 3. Bill Gates. Microsoft's founder, philanthropist, and world's wealthiest man was once asked how to prosper in an extroverted society. Well, I believe introverts can succeed. If you're clever, you can learn to take advantage of the advantages of being an introvert, such as being willing to go off for a few days to think about a difficult subject, read everything you can, and push yourself to think outside the box. Then, if you come up with something, if you want to hire people, get them excited, and build a company around that idea, you better learn what extroverts do, hire some extroverts, I would claim Steve Ballmer as an extrovert, and tap into both sets of skills in order to have a company that thrives both in deep thinking and team building, as well as going out into the world to sell those ideas. Number 2. Rosa Parks. After refusing to give up her seat for a white man in 1955, Rosa Parks became one of the most historically significant women. Susan Cain writes in the foreword to her book Quiet, The power of introverts in a world that can't stop talking, I had always imagined Rosa Parks as a stately woman with a bold temperament, someone who could easily stand up to a busload of glowering passengers. However, when she died in 2005 at the age of 92, Obituaries described her as soft-spoken, kind, and little. They described her as timid and shy, but with lion-like courage. Radical humility and silent fortitude were among the expressions used. Number 1. Albert Einstein. Einstein, one of history's most famous and respected physicists, reportedly observed that the monotone and seclusion of a serene living stimulates the creative mind. The monotony and seclusion of a peaceful life, according to Einstein, encourages the creative mind. Einstein received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921 for his contributions to the creation of the theory of relativity. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.